Hello, lovely ones. Lovely, lovely. We're going to talk about energy again. And the idea that I would love to check in with you about today is the idea of dependency. And oh, this is such a low vibration. And yet it is one of the ones that we battle so much to get clear of. We rely on others and we allow others to rely upon us. And this is a, a relationship that can work and there can be this dependency and codependency. We can do all that. And it can work in a, in, a, in a way that serves each other. But it can also work in a way that limits each of us and restricts our ability to expand and to move forward and to make new decisions. So if you are in any kind of relationship, there is going to be a certain amount of dependency. But it needs to be a fair exchange and it needs to be on a level that is um, holding the same sort of value, the same sort of sense of power in it. But if one is more powerful and the other is feeling like they're depending because they are weaker or because they need the other one because they're more powerful, then you really are working in quite a messy sort of space. So we want to start looking at what is dependency and where am I in this equation? And how much do I depend upon others to know and value and understand and honor me? So start looking at just you. Don't try and fix anything because when we start to fix stuff, we make a mess. So start thinking about who am I in all my relationships? How am I connecting into my relationships? And is there a little neediness in me? And do I require the other person to show up in a certain way so that I can feel safe or happy or fulfilled or accomplished or whatever the thing is? Try to really pay attention to this little stream of energy because we can easily, easily manipulate one another inside of this frequency. We can um, extort and distort our power if we are feeling like the powerful ones. And then that brings in that messy little triangle of when we have the three little places that are played out, the power at the top, or it could be anywhere, but normally the power, the perpetrator, the powerful position. Then on the one corner, we have the rescuer, and on the other corner, we have um, the victim. So if we are playing in any of dependency kind of energy we will find ourselves bouncing around from being the one in the power because you depend and rely upon me so i've got all the pull and all the say and it amplifies our sense of self-worth and fabulousness and people love to play in that place of power but if they lose their place of power they immediately go to either the rescuer or the victim most likely to the victim. So we play in these messy, messy energy spaces. Watch how you are in them. Watch where you are playing and notice when you bounce from a place of feeling powerful and I've got it all under control. And then if you're relying upon something, it can just crash like a crash of cards, a whole bunch of cards just smash down. And then we go, oh, everything's out of control, chaos, overwhelm, pain suffering, anger, hate, despair, whatever those things are. Watch yourself and then just find your own energy inside of that. Come back. If you can organize this in your mind and get clear about it, it's so much easier not to get manipulated and to feel played. Come back into your own sense of power, your own sense of value because you are. You are of great value. You are a unique being and you are meant to be here. So however you're working your relationships and your connections with others, try and let them become more healthy as we move into this beautiful new decade. So much love to you all and have a glorious, glorious week. Namaste.